everyone, Josh here, Wargaming Noob Historical, back with another hobby vlog. This time around, another update to Mini Warmuth's Great Mini Paint Challenge for September. I am just chugging along with the bolt action. Wanted to show some of the figures that I will be adding to the challenge as I finish more and more of the bolt action stuff that I've talked about in previous videos. So in the screen here, you're going to see two squads of uh, British Commonwealth Aussie soldiers. Uh, one of them I've already started working on, as you can see. I am preparing these for uh, a crate campaign that I want to do in October or November. In the back here, we have a German R75 motorcycle with sidecar. There's three crew members, as you can see, I've also started on that. And then to the uh, right here, we have, have Enrico Francisi, the Italian limited edition figure that was included with the Italy soft underbelly warlord campaign book, already primed in uh, German field gray. So these are the new additions to the paint challenge. Uh, I'm only bringing these up because I did make excellent progress this week on uh, what I've been working on and we're gonna show that next. So first off, after over a year of having these uh, on my uh, table, I finally completed the last two ships for the Warlord Games Victory at C2 Player Starter, the Battle for the Pacific. These were the last two ships, the two Fletcher destroyers. And uh, now I have both fleets completed. Uh, that uh, rounds out part of my uh, challenge for Mini Warmut's uh, Great Mini Paint Challenge, as well as part of my own personal challenge, my race to October, the third year anniversary of the channel. Uh, this is now off of my list. All right, another thing off my list is the Falsham Jaeger 10.5 centimeter uh, recoilless artillery piece you can see, was able to get this done on Monday. So <laughs> I'm very happy to actually have this off of my table. Another great addition to my German forces. Um, I think it turned out pretty nice. Here's a closer look. Again, these are late war. I did end up using a Luftwaffe uniform for the helmet and the parachute pants. Um, but yeah. All right, the final part of our update here is I did a five-man squad of Falschermager in tropical uniform. We'll get up pretty close. Two of them have smocks on. Everybody else is in the regular tropical uniform without the smock. These turned out fairly well. In the back are three more that I'm in uh, process of completing. That'll bring me to eight. I'm still looking for the missing two because the box set itself was uh, 10 Falschermager. I can't seem to find the other two. And that's the problem with uh, projects such as these, you tend to lose track of where everything is. But I'm very happy with how the Fallschirmjäger turned out. And again, um, I bought these initially for the Crete campaign. And now that I have these done, I'm one step closer to uh, starting to work on Crete. So um, before, in any case, before I end this video, I have tagged everybody that is involved in the challenge down below. Uh, many of them have uh, channels, their own channels. Some of them um, don't have very many subscribers. Some of them don't have many uh, subscribers. So my hope is that by tagging them all in this, and if you're watching this video, that you'll take the time to subscribe to them and um, show them a little bit of the community, show a little bit of that brotherhood and community that uh, challenges such as this foster. So, yep, that is my spiel. Go give those, those guys a follow, look at their progress in the same challenge, and then, uh, yeah, that'll help boost their channel as well as their confidence as they go through the uh, fun, fun challenge of painting uh, their miniatures. So, in any case, that is it. If you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you would. Click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new hobby vlog coming out of the channel. And click the link in the description below to join our Discord server. That's the best way I can personally interact with you and chit-chat you about Bolt Action and any other game I cover on the channel. That's it. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more hobby vlog from Wargaming Noob Historical.